Well, Election Day is tomorrow in New York City. City Council races are on the ballot, as well as the race for Queens District Attorney. There are several mayoral races in Westchester and Long Island, and Suffolk County will elect a new county executive. Voters will choose state Supreme Court justices and civil court justices, and there are two statewide ballot measures, one regarding debt limits for small city school districts and another for sewage projects. In New Jersey, every seat in both houses of the legislature are up for grabs and there are several mayoral races mayoral races in Connecticut. Uh, one of the local races that we're going to be watching closely is for New York City Council District 19, which covers Northeast Queens, College Point, Whitestone, and Bayside. Now, the incumbent, Vicki Palladino, a Republican, won that seat back in 2021, beating Democrat Tony Avella by just a couple of hundred votes. Now, Avella, well, he is back for a rematch. With the preview of this race, here's Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kemp. I tell the truth, he lies. She's totally ineffective. She hasn't addressed quality of life issues. My opponent is arrogant. My opponent is uh, very vengeful. My opponent creates stories. She opposed, you know, the vaccines for COVID, saying that it was like we we're in Nazi Germany. You might say the gloves have come off in Northeast Queens, but that would imply the gloves are put on in the first place. The race for City Council District 19, the most competitive council race this year, is as bare knuckled as they get. And this is rematch round three. I'm shocked that we have a white supremacist representing us. Clearly she is. Her whole staff has, you know, issues with postings with white supremacist groups. Her own son has been a member of the Proud Boys. We have a picture of her with the founder of the Proud Boys smiling and shaking hands. He's totally irrelevant to me, much as he's been irrelevant to this district when he was the city councilman here. He was known as Do Nothing Tony. Two years ago, Trump supporting Republican Vicky Palladino beat Tony Avella the former Democratic state senator and former council member who held this seat, but she bested him by only a couple hundred votes. An incumbent facing off against the former incumbent. Almost half of the voters in this district are registered Democrats, yet the Republican candidates for mayor and governor trounced Mayor Adams and Governor Hochul in the last election here by double-digit margins. But the district is more moderate than MAGA, so Vela is trying to make this a national race. She called members of the LGBT plus community degenerates. If Tony was effective, Tony would be running on his past record, wouldn't he? Paladino, for her part, is focusing on quality of life issues, opting for a street repaving project to frame her message instead of a campaign rally. This is all now. done. This yep. will be done. In fact, the only issue they seem to agree on is the migrant crisis. Avella didn't want this former Catholic school to be used as a respite center. Paladino helped shut it down. They say this location is far from services, jobs, and mass transit.